Hey, it's Mari, and I'm finally back with my Hawaii mini album. I'm just going to do a quick flip through to show you what I have completed in the album so far. And I'm actually going to leave links in the description below just so that you can, if you want to go back and watch the process for those first um, pages of the album, you can go back and watch those. I haven't worked on this for quite a while, for a couple months and now i just i really want to get this finished up and uh, you know just because it's been six months since the trip now and i feel like if i don't get it finished right away i'll start to forget some of the things that happened so i think what i'm going to do is print a bunch of pictures um, that i have left in the trip and i might just take them with me this coming weekend when i'm going to be seeing all of the kids and just get sort of you know kind of get them to to tell me what some of their highlights were from the trip and so on just so that i make sure that i don't miss any of the the things that happened or that we did that i might have forgotten about or that that um you know i might not think to include so um yeah i think that'll help me out a lot so i'm just working on the left side here of this double page spread and i'm just adding a few little word stickers and some a few little enamel dots and some bits and pieces just to finish this page up so what i'm working on right now in the album is the part of our trip when we were on the road to hana on maui and this is quite a few pictures so i'm actually going to have to spend um, some time doing several double page spreads on that part of our vacation because it was an entire day and it is a lot to see and there were a lot of pictures taken for sure so I want to make sure that I don't miss any of that in the album and this particular um, section that I'm working on right now is of black rock and this is a sorry not black rock black rock is on in a, on a different part of the island um this is black sand beach and there's kind of a there's a, an area there too where there's a bit of an outcropping and a blowhole and so i took pictures of the black sand beach and i also took pictures of the blowhole and so on so this is actually going to be um i think most of what i do here for this double page spread is the, the pictures from that part of the road to Hana. So I'm just going to take some of these tiny little jelly bean soup alphas and I'm going to use those on the top of the photograph. I'm just going to spell out lava rock and I really like adding just little label stickers and uh, sticking labels onto the photographs just to do a tiny little bit of journaling because usually there's a spot on the um, layout somewhere where there's more journaling that fills in more of the story. So um, usually what I wanna do on these small cards is just kind of, you know, a few keywords and phrases that remind me of what was going on or, you know, some little caption. And then the majority of the journaling for this story will be on another part of the double page spread. So once again, you can just see that all of these little cards, what I do is I typically will map the photo in a coordinating color of cardstock um, that goes with the um, the layout colors and i have so much stampin up cardstock in my stash you guys from when i was a stampin up demonstrator um, this is a really great way to use up if you have an excess of a certain color or whatever um, it's a great way to get some of that used up i love these um, me and my big ideas clear stickers and you can they're either in you can use them in black or white and i love those as overlays i will use those throughout all of my mini albums i have them for christmas for the december daily and i have them i have a few packs of those for pocket pages you can see it says on there and they're perfect because they have just a really wide variety of little sayings on them and they're really really versatile now I'm just taking, like I said, some more little word stickers, just putting some little phrases on there and other little embellishments, either enamel dots or puffy stickers, other kinds of stickers. And I ha have said this many, many times in my Project Life videos, There, this is such a fantastic way to use up all of those little bits and pieces. I got the hip kit for um, hmm, probably about a year or so and i really love those kits and i still want to go back to subscribing someday um 
hopefully soon. But what I found was with the hip kits was I, I really built up a lot of embellishments and a lot of things like stickers and that kind of stuff. And this is where I'm getting to use a lot of them. And also just from things that I purchased along the way. So um, those are great for getting used up in project life. And I think this spread had two four by threes maybe on top and then a four by six on the bottom. So I'm gonna use this four by six on the bottom of that page to do the majority of the journaling. And on this one, I'm journaling about the Arboretum that we saw on the road to Hana. And a lot of these pictures for this spread are of the vegetation, the different trees and that sort of thing that we saw along the way. And it's probably one of the most striking things about the road to Hana is all of the beautiful flowers and trees and vegetation that you see along the way. So pretty. This picture is actually super cool. And Brady said when we were there, hey, this is a spot that they used. It's a picture um, or a spot that they used in pictures or film for one of the Jurassic Park movies. And so we made sure that we took a picture of that. And I'm just journaling about that right now and how, you know, the Hawaiian islands have been used as a backdrop or a setting for many Hollywood movies and lots of TV shows and stuff over time. Um, yeah, so Magnum PI guys, for those of you who are my age, there's probably some of you listening who have no idea what I'm talking about, but Magnum PI was also filmed in Hawaii. I believe Oahu is where that one was filmed. And lots of the, the TV show Lost, which I was a huge fan of, was also filmed on Oahu. Okay, so yeah, just putting those stickers down, you know, mounting the pictures on cardstock and then just adding some embellishments and some journaling. And that's the beauty of Project Life. You can get many, many photos documented and story told in a very quick period of time. That's the beauty of mini albums. You know, 12 by 12s, typically we do, you know, one, two or three pictures per spread and it doesn't it doesn't tend to use up your pictures quite as quickly hey guys i really had fun today working in my mini album i'm just going to show you what i did i added also this little insert and into the pocket i added just some little bits and pieces of storytelling that i wanted to include okay so thanks so much for joining me and i'll see you another time on my channel have an amazing day and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment see you later Bye bye